Uh, my name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. Thank you for joining us here today at Restaurants of Hawaii on the ThinkTech platform. And today is a very, very special day. The ThinkTech platform has been dedicated to raising public awareness regarding lo local, national, and global issues. And today, is we're saying mahalo to the current version of the ThinkTech platform as they scale back after almost 25 years of production. I'd like to have our guests please introduce themselves. First, starting off with my dear friend, who now after two, three years, three years and eight months, Jay Fidel, please introduce yourself. Um, my name is Jay Fidel. I'm the CEO, and uh, ultimately, I'm, I'm I'm also the founder of uh, ThinkTech Hawaii back in the early 2000s. And uh, I am so delighted that we've had the Hawaii Restaurant Association on the shows. Um, so I, I monitor everything that happens, and I appreciate everything that happens, and I care a lot about our hosts and our guests, and I care a lot, a lot about the Hawaii Restaurant Association as one of the premier shows uh, one of the best public conversation discussions that we have in our lineup. Thank you, Jay. And and as I mentioned earlier, you know, the Think Tech platform, Restaurants of Hawaii, has really been a great communication tool for the industry as we we're going through the pandemic, the Maui wildfires, and all the challenges that our restaurants and food service industry has been dealing with. I'd like to have our chairman, Abe Kwok, please introduce yourself, Abe. Hello, everyone. I'm Abe Kwok. I'm the current uh, HRA chairman. I'm so pleased to be here. And uh, I'm a restaurateur. You know, I run restaurants from uh, 1995 and as a dishwasher and, and worked my way up and as a manager, worked for Japanese restaurants, ton of Tokyo and and become a restaurant tours. Uh, I own, currently own a J Dynasty and and also a, a Dada Salon cafes. Um, it's been a tremendous experience with restaurant business. One thing is very hectic, very busy, but you learn a lot. Uh, if you talk about minimum wage and us, really it doesn't sync together. So, but again, you know, I'm 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 so glad to join the HRA, and uh, I'm a loyal uh, think tank. Uh, followers, <laughs> and uh, and I'm uh, I want to just join you guys and talk about think tank. Thank you, Abe. And I'd like to introduce Andy, our incoming chairman to the Hawaii Restaurant Association. Andy, please introduce yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Andy Huang. I am the incoming chair for the Hawaii Restaurant Association. I'm also a vice president and chief operating officer for LNN Hawaiian Barbecue. Um, I also, I've been, you know, like Abe, I've been in the restaurant industry pretty much all my life and uh, um, coming up to almost 30 years already. So um, I really enjoy the industry and I'm very uh, pleased to be on this platform and to share some of my experience with the platform to everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much, Andy. And as I mentioned earlier, Jay, you know, through the Restaurants of Hawaii on the Think Tech platform, we were able to keep our industry informed and up to date. So many changes has gone on over the, the first episode, Jay, was August 24th, 2020, three years and eight months ago. 87 shows I've done on the Think Tech platform. And we just really want to say thank you to Jay. For, for this opportunity and this platform. So Jay, my first question is, as the founder um, of the Think Tech Hawaii platform, um, what inspired you to establish this platform? And how do you feel about the impact that you've made on this community? I mean, for the last 25 years. Well, back in the day, off Waikiki, there was a uh, Japanese uh, high school training ship by the name of Ahime Maru. Uh, and it was sunk by the Greenville, a nuclear submarine out of Pearl Harbor. And uh, I was called upon by uh, PBS to report on that. And in the course of that uh, reportage, I met a lot of people in the press, including Hawaii Public Radio. And that's where 
the show really started. Uh, so it's it's very broad based these days. It covers uh, issues all around the world, everything everything you can imagine. Um, but mostly, you know, we care about Hawaii. Uh, we want to serve the community in Hawaii. And so uh, it has evolved. It has changed. It has expanded in some ways. It has focused in other ways. Um, but the original motivation remains the same. That is to raise public awareness and provide a platform for civic engagement by citizen journalists. And I think we're doing that still, and you're still doing that. And thank you for that. Thank you, Jay. And so my question to Abe, you know, Abe, you've been on numerous of our Restaurants of Hawaii um, podcasts. And how did Think Tech Hawaii help the Hawaii Restaurant Association, our members, and the industry with our programs, the messaging during the crisis, such as the pandemic, the Maui wildfires, and now new legislation that our restaurateurs need to know, such as NARCAP? Yeah, well, fabulous stories to listen to uh, Jay about how to uh, start a think tech. So, yes, we are facing uh, the challenges of a COVID-19 pandemic alongside with the rapid spread out of the Nahaina wildfire, both uh, presenting urgent issues. Fortunately, the think tech platforms has proven instruments to dismantling the, the information and solutions swiftly following all these tragedies. Both events need quick responses. COVID-19 has been in four, four and a half years, you know, leading to a wild spread of lockdowns. Thanks to constant updates from HRA, you know, Cheryl uh, through ThinkTech, valuable insights and assistance, such as assisting the restaurants revitalization fund, the RRF funds, and the SBAs, and which provides struggling restaurant tours and facilitating faster access to the vital funds. This amplifies really influential roles of fintechs, how to play in delivering accurate information to the restaurant tours during the pandemic. On the other hand, now Highness wildfire spread out every issues at an alarming pace, requiring the immediate attentions for Maui, ThinkTech being a very widely followed local platforms, everybody watch it by the way, efficiently helps HRA outreach to these members, you know, the information, the value, available uh, knowledge about how to, how the reach helps. You know, I'm deeply grateful for ThinkTech uh, for their seamless linkage to all these inf important information and the abilities to swiftly reach out to the members in the time of the crisis. Thank you, Abe. Jay, you remember when you jumped on <clears throat> with the Small Business Administration, right? And we got the information out about the Restaurant Revitalization Fund. Prior to that, we got out all the information about the PPP as there was so much confusion, right? So do you have any reflections that you want to talk about how we were getting information out through your platform and Restaurants of Hawaii to all these restaurateurs? Yes, I do. I have many reflections. You know, at this point in time, we are transitioning to a uh, uh, a creation of a legacy program with our um, all our videos for the past ten years or, or so, um, and people will have the opportunity to see what what was being covered and said ten years ago, and find lessons in that, find value in that. Um, so it's it's all really a matter of retrospective, and I think. Um, you can't really deal with the present unless you understand the past. And that's one of the reasons for, you know, our interest in developing a legacy program. So I'm interested in retrospection right now. So I want to make a couple of retrospectives for you, Cheryl. Number one, I remember, <laughs> this is, you know, out of a song, I think. I remember when, I remember when the Restaurant Association was joined at the hip with the Hotel Association. I don't know if you remember that. You might be too young to remember that. <laughs> but they were both in the same nonprofit trade association organization, and that was really something. And then, you know, and, and, and it represented a kind of, um, you know, a kind of uh, uh, societal economic sector merging of the two. 
um, it, it, the message it, it, it spoke was that restaurants are a part of tourism. And they are, but they need to be separate. And when I saw you separate that way, I said, this is good because the Restaurant Association should be separate. It's a separate sector. It shouldn't be you know, dependent on or, or intrinsically involved with a hotel and the hospitality end of, of that. And so I was happy to see that. And then, you know, I was happy to see you, Cheryl, because you entered into, you know, your job as executive of, of the Hawaii Restaurant Association. There was such tremendous vitality. Andy and uh, Ave, you know about this. The, the vitality is all over you um, because Cheryl never stops. I, I need to know what kind of pills she takes uh, <laughs> in order to keep going the way she goes. And that vitality has been the case ever since you took office. And the Restaurant Association has spread its wings. You, you now offer so much to all the restaurants and to the industry, which, as I mentioned, I think it ought to be separate. It ought to be, a, you know, another point that draws people here. Why are you going to Hawaii? I like to eat. They got great restaurants in Hawaii. It's, a, it's an industry, and it covers so much grounds, you know, so many cultures, so many different kinds of food, so many styles. Um, that's why, at least one of the big reasons why I want to go to Hawaii, and you're doing that. Okay? The other thing is that um, just so happens, uh, back in uh, what was it, 2020 or so? Yes, we had we had COVID. And, you know, and it seems like a long time ago, doesn't it? It seems like we're out of the woods on that. We're not really out of the woods, but you know, it seems that we have forgotten a lot about what what happened in COVID. But I remember my retrospective. Cheryl, is that, you know, you and I did these shows early on, and we talked to restaurateurs who were literally dying. Um, they, they, nobody was coming. Nobody was leaving home. Nobody was going to restaurants. Restaurants were on their backs, so many of them. Cheryl, I remember there were people that you brought on this show who were actually emotionally involved. They were tearful. Describing, you know, and, and and we would ask them, what what do you expect? What what's going to happen to you? And they would say, a lot of them would say, I don't know. Uh, we may not be able to stay in business. Um, the whole thing is so bleak. And and I saw in you an empathy. I saw in you a driving desire to help them to build their systems, to build their associations, their connections, their suppliers, their techniques, their staffs. Um, and I saw you saving a number of them, and that was really hard for me. The Restaurant Association really gets a medal for that. You saved, in my view, you saved an industry or a good part of it, and that's really, really important. And, and, and finally, you know, uh, what's happened here is that you have matured, um, that the sector has matured, uh, and the Restaurant Association has matured. You are a player now. And I have seen that. Uh, I have seen that from before we, you know, started the show, uh, when you were merged with the hotel association and uh, under them, so to speak. Um, and now you are flying high. And I compliment you on that. It's not just you, Cheryl, although you're a major part. It's the whole association. You brought them together. Thanks for that. Thank you, Jay. And that was part of my next question, Jay. You know, I was reflecting to our first show, which was three years, uh, three years and four months ago, when you invited me to be a guest on Think Tech. And we didn't name it Restaurants Hawaii. You just said I'd be a guest on Think Tech. And we did a couple of shows. And Jay, I was so nervous because I didn't have any experience being on a 30-minute podcast. I had no experience. I didn't know what to do. And you made it so easy. You were just like taking me under your wing and showing me what to do and giving me some pointers. I was so nervous. But what Jay did was he pushed me out of my comfort zone nest and said, baby bird, you're going to fly and you need your own show. And it's called Restaurants of Hawaii. 87 shows later, Jay, I have so much feedback from restaurateurs. And exactly what you said, Jay, during the pandemic, when I'm telling them that restaurant revitalization fund, we had the Small Business Chamber, uh, the, the Small Business Association on. And he said to them, 
that portal's going to open, that money's going to run out. Everybody get your paperwork ready. We need to be sure you file it. And we were able to get so many restaurants funds, Jay, because of this show, because of being able to get that message out. We were able to do that. Prior to that, Jay, as I said, when people didn't know what this pandemic was going to bring and what was PPP, you know, is it a loan? Is it a grant? Have, do I have to pay it back? And so many restaurateurs had so many question marks. And we were able to get that out. And the PPP really helped many restaurants during that time just stay afloat. And those restaurants, as you said, have thanked us for helping them through that process. And you're so true that you literally pushed me out of my nest. And now look at us today, Jay. I know your secret, Cheryl. You were <laughs> not a shy child. You were, you were a great host. And I could see even early on how articulate and thoughtful you are, how logical and organized you are. And, and it, it, it was revealed and it has been revealed ever since. I also want to add that, you know, the Restaurant Association and you, Cheryl, you have, um, you have made yourselves an, an educational resource. It's not just reporting news, it's teaching people. It's teaching entrepreneurs, restaurant managers and staff and suppliers and the like, um, how to do business. And, and, and if you didn't mention it at first, you mentioned it again. And again, and again, and after a while, you could see those messages sinking in to their benefit. Um, so, you know, you have, and you have the educational foundation. I mean, it's really all about educating. Because if we're going to build, you know, a restaurant sector that is world class, which I think we are, uh, and, and deal with the fallout of COVID and, and make it all better than it ever was, we're going to have to teach a whole generation of restaurateurs, and you have been doing exactly that. Thank you, Jay. So, I really appreciate it, and thank you for all of the support and the friendship. So my question to Andy, as the incoming chairman, can you share us, with us some personal examples and moments that highlight the value of our Restaurants Hawaii um, show on the Think Tech platform? Definitely, yeah. So I think both uh, Jay and A um, cover most of the the topics already. But you know, for my personal experience, I, I feel like you know, think tech platform plays a vital role in fostering community dialogue and providing the platform for diverse perspective and ideas to be shared and discussed. Now, as a HRA member, I've been witness several instances, and I've also been on the show a few times, and that has facilitated meaningful conversation and had a positive impact to our community. Now, especially, like, I think both of them, or you, and mentioned about the uh, Lahaina wildfire, you know, we were able to share um, where and how to get help a lot of in, this, and in this challenging time. And in addition, I think, uh, Think Tech Hawaii also often covers important local events, might not receive much attention in, in the mainstream media. So by shining like spotlight on these topics, they help raise awareness and benefit to our members and communities. Um, we also have like events like uh, the HRA's golf tournaments, a Hall of Fame event, and also the you know the Hall of Fame honoring the entrepreneur that's been assisting the community contributing the uh, in the community for years right so we wanted to honor their 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 contribution and also the hawaii hotel restaurant uh, show that we just had recently so i feel like this platform really helped to educate and then uh, the video is always going to be there and we can learn from it as we look back the years past and see what we've done in the past and we can learn from it and and keep improving and grow so that uh, it will benefit our organization in the long run. Yes, exactly. And and as Jay said, right, they'll, they'll always be archived in his legacy. So that's really helpful to look back on history so that we can make better decisions moving forward. And so to Ave, the same questions, you know, how has this platform assisted our restaurateurs and people in the restaurant industry, our food service industry, 
and um, getting the information out. Well, besides Jay said, you are the impact. I think Jay is the impact. So um, Think Tech Hawaii really made a big impact on how people think about important issues, in my opinion. So running a restaurant is very hectic, and we don't always have time to understand every policies and every big issues. But those things does affect us, sometimes sometimes in a bad way. So that that's where Think Tech comes handy. It's a reliable source that for unbiased information, helping us understand what's going on and allow us to tell our lawmakers what matters to us. I remember last year when when there's a big debate about raising the minimum wage and thanks for think tech, you know, we could hear from the expert on on their panels and about pros and cons and another good example is um they also talk about dealing with things like um, inflation, you know, rising food costs and the new government rules about plastic bans and mandates. So think that really uh, help us shape public opinions, in my opinion, so in the right directions, which can then influence policymakers to make decisions that benefit us. Thank you, Aze. So, Jay, you have to know, when I heard that you'd be scaling back, I thought to myself, here's Jay Fidel and Carol Mon Lee pushing me out of my comfort zone again. So now I have to now announce today that HRA, with the permission of Jay Fidel, HRA will be launching our own podcast, Hawaii Restaurant Association's Restaurant of Hawaii. In designing our own podcast, I want to assure our members and our viewers that all the conversations will always be current and relevant. That's what I learned from Jay Fidel. And so, so Jay, looking back at 25 years on the Think Tech platform, what do you believe set Think Tech apart from other media platforms? And what lessons do you think that I can learn in moving forward on our own platform? What sets us apart is citizen journalism. Ordinary people, ordinary entrepreneurs and business people coming on and you know, explaining what it's about for them, explaining what their views are, what government can do for them, what the community can do for them. Um, you don't get that in the big media. You simply don't. And so uh, I'm gratified that you are a perfect example of citizen journalism, Cheryl and Andy and Abe. Um, and I would like that to continue. I'm happy uh, that you're doing your own podcast. And, and I'm here to urge you to send them to us. And we will post them uh, on our website and on our YouTube channel and everywhere we can uh, to continue to get the word out on you. Uh, so do it. I'm, I completely endorse and support the idea and the project. Um, and I'm also asking for you to give us that content. And we will propagate that as much as we can. You know, in terms of, um, you know, what I would notice and recommend is that you guys are into public policy. <clears throat> this was not always the case uh, for the Hawaii Restaurant Association. And now, clearly, you're out there. You're out there in the legislature. You're out there, you know, in the public trying to formulate, as Abe says, public opinion, trying to change it, trying to change it in a way that incentivizes the industry. Because the reality is that if government gives a given sector a blessing, that sector will flourish. <clears throat> and you need to make sure they do. So I'm gratified that you are doing that. This is, this is terrific, a great, um, a great evolution for the Restaurant Association and for restaurants in general. And I hope you continue to do it and, and make the legislature and the government in general aware of what your industry needs. Uh, this is a very important thing. And I urge you to continue it, and for that matter, expand it. Thank you, Jay. So now, as we wrap up the show, I just want to give everyone an opportunity. I want to first start off by saying mahalo to the dedicated team on the Think Tech Hawaii platform, including Jay, Carol, the producers, the engineers, and staff who work tires tirelessly to bring the current valuable information, relevant content to our community. I'd also like to have Ave give a, a final mahalo. 
Yeah, thank you very much. I'm 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 so through. I still want to say uh, I'm I'm a big fan of fintech, you know, and I I'll follow, you know, um, and uh, I know uh, may not be here, but uh, we're all gonna miss and uh, it, it, we miss those those informations. You know, one of the things about fintech is it's a uh, it's a local show. You know, it tells about our own language. You know how good when you turn on a channel. Oh well, it's Hawaii. You know, I I I'm always a fan of a of a local um, culture. So, and thank you very much, and Jay. Uh, we we're gonna miss you a lot. So, thank and you. Whenever you feel that you're missing me, send me some some of the episodes in your podcast. That will I'll, alleviate I'll, your concern. Yeah, I'll make sure I'll rest you to my restaurants. <laughs> oh, there you go. And by the way, Cheryl, I, I, of course, I want to let Andy close here. But um, by the way, I just I just want to add that this whole conversation is making me hungry. <laughs> it's lunch hour. So, Andy, please, um, is there anything you'd like to say as our final episode here on the Think Tech platform? Uh, definitely a big mahalo for providing such a wonderful platform all these, these years. And, you know, for all different organizations, community, business, and just individuals to share important topics, discussion. And like I mentioned earlier, these videos, amazing part of it is it will always be there and we can always look back and learn from it and then improve and keep grow and improving. Thank you so much. Thank you, Andy. And Jay, we want to give you a toast in the, of course, in the spirit of being in the food service industry. We want to toast Jay Fidel, Carol, the team over at ThinkTech. Thank you so much for the last almost three years of doing so much for the food service industry and restaurants in Hawaii. Thank you so much. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Cheers. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank you, Abe, and thank you, Andy. Thank it's you. great to talk with you guys, and I look forward to spending more time with you going forward. Thank you. And in closing, I just want to thank everyone today for joining us, and a heartfelt mahalo again to Think Tech Hawaii, Jay Fidel, Carol Mon Lee. Please remember to nourish connections, savor life, eat well, and live well. The Hawaii Restaurant Association is the organization unifying, representing, and supporting Hawaii restaurant and food service industry. Please look for our future podcast on Restaurants of Hawaii. Aloha. We want to announce that ThinkTech Hawaii is moving into a new phase and will not be producing regular talk shows after April 30th. We will retain our website and YouTube channel and will accept new content on an ad hoc basis. We are also developing a legacy archive program to provide continuing public access to our content. If you can help us cover the costs of the transition and the development of our legacy archive program, please make a donation on thinktechaway.com. Thanks so much. Aloha.